Last week, I spoke to a group of young professionals and students who are visiting the States from Europe. And I told them the following story because I thought it has a great lesson. A number of years ago, I was in an airport walking to the gate and I passed by a random fellow who was wearing a t-shirt. Caught my eye and it kind of stopped me in my tracks. It said, husband, period. Dad, period. Fantasy football legend, period. So what's he saying? Even as a joke for which I feel bad for his wife and his kids, I'm a husband. Not great husband, loving husband, just husband. Maybe good, maybe mediocre, we don't know. And I'm a dad because I had a kid. Are you a doting dad? What kind of dad are you? We don't know. But what does he take most seriously? He's announcing to the world, fantasy football. At that, I'm a legend. So the lesson I took from that is that as part of our Jewish journey, whether we're at the beginning or we're far along, we have to always work on pushing God and our relationship with God higher up on our list of priorities. If he's lagging way back at number 15, try to get him to 12, 11, 10. And if he's at 10, try to get him to eight, seven. And if he's at six, five, move him up. Try to eventually get him to number one. So when I finished, a fellow came up to me. He said, can I make a comment about something you said? I said, sure. He said, you mentioned we have to push God up on our list of priorities. I said, yeah. He said, I don't really see it that way. I don't see God as one of our priorities. I sort of see him sitting on top of all of our priorities because our relationship with him affects all of our different roles in life, doesn't it? I said, absolutely. In fact, that's so much better than the lesson that I described. I'm going to tell that story over with your lesson in the future every time I tell it over. Because he's right. Every single role we have in life, our relationship with God and the rules he puts in place, the guidebook that he puts in place, if we follow it, improves our roles. It makes us better parents. It makes us better children. It makes us better spouses. It makes us better employers, employees, friends, colleagues, neighbors. He sits on top of every one of our priorities. And we shouldn't think of him as just one priority, even if it's number one. If we do that, we're making a mistake. We shouldn't think, oh, I'm going into synagogue now. Oh, let me adjust my, my yarmulke because now it's God time. No, every second of every day done right is God time. You shouldn't be thinking, this isn't God time. Now I'm at business. Business is business. No, God's in the room with you telling you how to conduct your business, honestly. And he's in the room with you when you're interacting with your spouse or with your child or with your parent. He's telling you how to act. And he tells us in maybe his most transparent words in the entire Torah, in this week's Parsha, that the more you look for me in your life, the more you'll find me. Amazing things will happen. They may seem at times bad. They're not. They're all good. Everything I do for is good. Look for me. You'll see my hand everywhere in your life. But if you don't look for me, if you act casually towards me, refusing to see my hand in human events and specifically in your life, then I'll act casually towards you. You won't see my hand. And then don't come complaining when you don't see me, when you don't find me. The more we look for him, the more we'll see him in every aspect of our lives, in every role that we play.